What is going on today, guys? My name is Jay, welcome back. Today, as the thumbnail suggests, we're gonna be looking at a bunch of different gain pedals. So specifically, distortion, overdrive, and clean boost. Now, you may have some of these pedals or you may have been considering buying some of these pedals, so I thought it might be nice to go over a few different flavors and varieties uh, to help you make your decision. So the catalyst for this whole thing for me was, if you've been following the channel a while, you know that I'm specifically using uh, digital amp sims, plugins, all that stuff on the computer for my guitar tones. I use that for a majority of my demos. Uh, now what I need is I need to build my first pedal board, which I've never done before, because I need to have something ready for a live setting for band use because I've joined a band and I gotta get some tones together. So I've been working on this for about a week or so, playing around with some different drives that I have. And what I'm doing is I'm running it all through a clean amp simulation, clean amp sound. So um, we're gonna be looking at, first of all, of course, the Boss DS1 distortion. Uh, by all accounts, the most highest selling guitar distortion pedal of all time. And by some accounts online, the most returned guitar distortion pedal of all time. So apparently not a lot of people were uh, pleased with it or knew how to use it. So there's that. There's also a very similar pedal, the, the MXR Custom Badass 78 Distortion. It's very similar in character to the DS1. A little different. Um, I like this one too. So we'll go over that. And then of course, you love it or you hate it, but you've heard it a million times, Tube Screamer. The Ibanez, this is the TS9 version, not the 808. Um, this particular one is a silver label, 2019 version, this one here. And it does what it does, and it does it very well. So if you're looking for that mid-boost, um, you know what it does. So we're going to review that a little bit and talk about that. Lastly, I thought it might be nice, too, to throw in a clean boost pedal. So I've got this, if I can get that in focus. Uh, Klon Clone, this is a Mosky Golden Archer. They also have a Mosky Silver, uh, excuse me, this is the Golden Horsey. They have a Silver Archer. I don't know, there's a bunch of different ones, but this particular one is made in China. They're very cheap and easy to come by. You can find them on Amazon or Reverb for anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks uh, new. So these are not bad too. That, that sounds really good. So if you really love the tone that you've already created with your amp or your, you know, your preamp or whatever, that's just going to give you more of it. Um, and I hope to not make this video too long. If we have time, we're going to look at a few more too. Uh, so I've got the MXR EVH 5150. People love this or hate it too. Um, not a lot of people seem to like this one online on, on YouTube anyhow. And I think maybe it's the application in which they're using it. So, I mean, I've managed to get some really good Van Halen-esque type tones. I mean, it gets you 90% of the way there or more. Pretty good. I, I think it's great. And it's they call it an overdrive, but I mean, it's really more of a distortion pedal. It's, it's pretty over, pretty heavily overdriven. I've also got MXR's Super Badass uh, Distortion. Similar to the Custom Badass, but uh, in the same realm, I guess you would say. But this is much more modern-focused, uh, heavier gain, different EQing. It's got its own flavor. I like that a lot. It's fun, too. It's, it's for the heavier rock stuff. You know, I've acquired all these over the past couple of years and I rarely ever use them because I'm always using my digital amp sims. So, you know, time to try this stuff out and build a pedal board, get it all together. So for today's signal chain, I'm gonna be going through with my Mexican Strat. This is my 1990 Stratocaster. I have it loaded with Seymour Duncan Custom Stack Plus Strat neck and bridge pickups. And so from the guitar, it's going to be going into one or more of the gain pedals, then on into the Atomic Amplifier Box Mark II, which if you're not familiar with that, I did do a demo review of that. Uh, here's a link to it up here. It's basically a pedal amplifier. It's a pedal amp emulator with a preamp and some effects built right into it. So it's a very useful solution if you're trying to keep your pedal board compact and you're not using you know amps and heads and all that stuff. Then it's going on to my Seymour Duncan Power Stage 200 uh, solid state amplifier. That is 200 watts of clean, high headroom, really loud amp. It's great. Then finally into running it all into the Mesa Recto 212 cabinet, which of course is a closed back cabinet with Celestion V30s. That's the signal chain. Let's get onto some playing. Let's listen to some tones. And while you're listening, leave a comment as to, you know, if you love the tone, you hate it. But if you hate it, tell me why. 
If you have one of these pedals and you, and you like it or you've managed to find some really great tones, tell us what you dialed in and what you're using too because everybody's got a different signal chain. Everyone's got different guitars and amps and, and um, speaker cabinets and all this stuff, different pickups, you know, different room dynamics. So everything's going to play into what your sound is. At the end of the day, the only person you need to satisfy with your tone really, you know, is you. You're right if you like the way it sounds it is good it doesn't matter what i say or what anyone else tells you on the internet about a pedal or the greatest the best you know the next greatest and best thing that's coming out how many overdrive pedals do you need well that's subjective right that that's you know that's on you whatever you want to do go for it but i would say this too as a recommendation just as an overall fundamental recommendation if you're using drive pedals overdrives distortions what have you at least have two have two different flavors with different characteristics or different type of clipping components uh to give you a different different sounds so you can mix and match you can put them in reverse order tweak the knobs and get some you know entirely different sounds that you are not expecting to get with the pedals i think you can get yourself really close you know if you're trying to dial in black sabbath led zeppelin dio um I don't know, pick your flavor, White Snake, Skid Row, or something a little more modern. I'm going for an all-arounder. I'm trying to find some sounds that I can use as a good fundamental baseline for hard rock music, whether it's Rat, White Snake, Winger, uh, Van Halen, you know, Guns N' Roses, whatever. Something that can kind of play with, you know, both single coils and humbuckers. Something that'll work well for my particular pedal board, which will be, we'll do another video on that later on when I actually build the pedal board and assemble everything. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what one or two or three drives do I want to put on this board? I'm going to be running through a clean amp simulation in the amplifier box. Uh, this one particular is supposed to be an emulation of a Fender Twin Reverb. So take it for what it's worth. That's what the manual says anyhow. It's your bass clean tone. Let's check it out now and then we'll jump into some of the, uh, the gain settings and see what we can get. Here's my clean tone starting with the neck. Uh, the bridge and I have a, just a little bit of reverb and delay in there because I just I can't play with it completely dry that's just me so all right let's engage the uh, let's start with the boss DS1 because that is the boss That is the drive all the way down, level all the way up. I find with this pedal that you just need to have the level cranked all the way, dimed, because it doesn't really add a lot of volume to it. And if you turn it down, it's just too quiet, so. I don't know what I'm playing there. So. Let's put the drive up to about nine. Let, let's go 10 o'clock. Uh, you know, the tone knob to suit, whatever works for your pickups and your setup, so. Jangly, it's nice. It's uh, it's not too much, I think. Let's put it up to uh, three o'clock. Drive. drive all the way up and it's a little noisy but that's okay
Yeah, it does what it does pretty well. Um, you know, what I'm hearing there is it's it's a little bit mid-scooped, but not too much so. The bass doesn't get cut too much, and it's just kind of an all-arounder for me. I think this thing is great. I, I really love this pedal. Okay, next up, we've got the comparable MXR78 Custom Badass Distortion. Again, clean tone. And this one puts out substantially more volume, so you got to kind of keep the output down or, you know, just be careful. Okay. Uh, distortions all the way down. Let's let's start to crank that up a little bit. Again, let's start it off about 9, 10 o'clock. bad now let's go to noon with the drive and again tone is to suit this one this this pedal can get really bright as well so let's check that out real quick so again i like this one pretty much at about around nine o'clock for the tone for me Now, if you engage the crunch not, uh, button here, it kind of pushes the mids forward a lot. But oddly, it almost sounds like it's decreasing the amount of gain for some reason. I don't know if it is or if it's like a compression slash mid boost. It just sounds less distorted, but a little more uh, mid forward. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Okay, let's crank up the distortion now to about three quarters of the way, uh, three o'clock. This thing gets lots of drive. If you go all the way on, on it. So yeah, this thing will do a little bit of Van Halen right there. Um, that's just the one pedal alone. If we stack it with another gain pedal, it's going to sound nice. I like this pedal a lot. This thing, I, I feel like it's, it's not transparent, but it's close to it. It really does help to retain the fundamentals of your amp tone. It just gives it a lot of boost and a lot of gain if you want it. So this thing is sick. Really like this. Okay, next up in the lineup, we've got the, uh, you know, the often contested, uh, most replicated pedal probably of all time, the Tube Screamer. So I'm going to start off again with the drive all the way, excuse me, all the way down, the level all the way up because it's kind of, it's the same thing as the, uh, the boss. You just kind of have to have that level all the way up or it's too quiet. So clean tone. And here we go. It's nice. It gives it that little bit of push, a little bit of mid hump there. Uh, so let's go with the drive. With the strat, I'm going to kind of go right to noon because it doesn't add too much, in my opinion.
let's turn up the turn up the level a little bit here. It's usable. Let's crank the uh, crank the tone so you can really get a sense of what the, how chimey it can get. Yeah, that's uh, a little too much. <laughs> Dial back the crazy on that a little bit. Drive all the way up. Not quite as noisy as the boss, but uh, it's close. Next up is the uh, the little pedal with a big heart. <laughs> this is the clean boost, and uh, I've got it currently set to uh, basically yeah, I've got the output set to unity gain. So here's uh, with it off, gain all the way down. Output is like I said, unity gain. And we're gonna start with the uh, well the treble knob, but it's kind of the tone knob. We're gonna start with that dead center. That is really giving you just more of what your guitar already is putting out. So let's put the drive up a little bit, the gain up. Do the same thing, we'll put it up to about 10, 11 o'clock. I mean, this pedal is really just, it is seriously just nice, clean, usable boost. think this uh, comparison would be complete without at least throwing in 5150 for a little added flavor so uh, why not Thank you. 
Okay, so in conclusion, I would say this. If you're trying to get the classic rock tone or early metal sounds, early metal tones, uh, clearly you can get there you know, with a bunch of different options that are available to you. These are just a few of you know, the many pedals that you can get. But I just want to give you guys a sense of you know, what I'm working with here as far as building my pedal board. And today's going to be basically part one of a two-part series. Uh, today we ran through with the Strat with single coils, lower gain tones. What we're going to do next week is I'll use my Harley Benton Les Paul with humbuckers and we'll go for more of the high gain, more modern metal sounds. So that should be fun too. Stick around for that one uh, probably next week. If you like what you saw here today and you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. I'll talk to you guys down there and we can mix it up a little bit and uh, let me know your thoughts. So that's it for today. Really appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out of here. See ya!